All right, so this is a key to worksheet two of topic 28. And remember, topic 28 is the uh, topic on inverses and one to one functions. Now, number one, it says this find the inverse of the following one to one function. So you are told that this is a one to one function. Now, even if you were not told that, you, it, you, you could easily determine that it is one to one. So let's just talk about that. Let, let's see why, why in number one, this, this function, negative 3, 9, 7, negative 1, 0, negative 5, 2, 10, and 3, 4. Let's see why that's 1 to 1. You're told it's 1 to 1, but let's see why. So remember, um, when determining if a set of ordered pairs is a 1 to 1 function, then, then remember, let's, let's do the mapping. And we start with y because remember the definition of a one to one, the definition of a one to one function says that for each y there's exactly one x. So y with is, is, is associated with one x. So when x is nine, my y value is negative three. When so so far we're okay. When x is negative one, my y value is seven. When x is negative five, my y value is zero. When x is ten, my y value is two. And when x is 4, my well, y value is 3. So notice that for each of these y coordinates, there's exactly one x coordinate. So, so it's 1 to 1. So, so this function is 1 to 1. Okay? <clears throat> and, and you were told that. So, so you didn't have to do this, but, but that's how you would determine if it's 1 to 1. Now they want you to find the inverse. So remember, if a function is one to one, it has an inverse, and and in the process of finding the inverse, remember we interchange the the variables and we interchange the coordinates. So all you do to find the inverse is interchange the coordinates. So in other words, in other words, nine negative three, I'm sorry, negative three nine becomes nine negative three. Seven negative one becomes negative one seven. Zero negative five becomes negative five zero. Two ten becomes ten two. And then three four becomes four three. And that's all you do. Alright, so so to find the inverse, you just interchange the coordinates. Alright, and number two, you again you, you're given this function and, and you're told it's one to one, and you want to find the inverse. So the inverse to find the inverse, since it's one to one, you just interchange the coordinates. So five, negative three becomes negative three, five, right? Um, zero, negative one becomes negative one, zero. Two, five becomes five, two. S negative three, seven becomes, sorry, becomes seven, negative three. And then negative eight, four becomes for negative eight. All you do is interchange the coordinates. And so now you want to find f of zero. So remember you have your function f here and this is your inverse. So don't get the two confused. So when you're doing the rest of this, make sure you're using the correct set of ordered pairs. So here's your function and then here's the inverse function. So this says find f of zero. Remember f of zero means, f of zero means um, what is the what is the y value when x is zero? But you got to go to your function f. So this is f. So what's the y value when x is zero? Well, here's where x is zero. So my y value is negative one. All right. Now be careful. Make sure you you, you put the y value because that's what this is asking. What is the y value when x is one? Uh, uh, x is zero. So the answer is negative one, and that's all you put there. Don't put anything else there. It is negative one only. So again, make sure you go into the right function. This is f, this is f inverse. So in letter c, you want to find f of 5. So, so here's my function f. So when x is 5, when x is 5, <clears throat> my y value is negative 3. Now the next two ask about the inverse, so that's this. So f inverse of 5, so we so make sure, make sure you see right here. Um, uh, when, 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 whenever you're given the inverse, um, you're always going to write it as f inverse of x. All right, so so notice f inverse of x. So this is your x here, but you got to go to the inverse. 
So, so when x is 5, when x is 5, f inverse of 5 is 2. Okay? And here, f inverse of negative 3, so when x is negative 3, the inverse of negative 3 is 5. All right, now I want to say something. So, so, so make sure you understand that for these two, you're going to use your inverse. All right, now, now notice, notice, I want you to go back to your, your function f. You see, f inverse of 5 is 2, right? So what this also means, I want you to notice something. I'm going to go ahead and write it here. So in 2D, you know that f inverse of 5 is 2. This also means, this also means that f of 2 is 5. That's what this also means. So inverse of, of 5 is 2 means that f of 2 is 5. Right? So, so in 2E, where you had f inverse of negative 3 is 5, um, so let me write it like this, f inverse of negative 3 is 5, this also means that f of 5 is 2. That's also what that means. So f of 5 is, is did I say 2? I meant negative, negative 3, excuse me, negative 3. So f of 5 is negative 3. All right? And then in number 3, it says this. g of 7 is negative 2. Okay? What is the value of g inverse of negative 2? All right, so think about what we just did right here. So remember, f of 2 is 5, right? So what that means is this. I want you to think. What that means is this. So, so you get this point. 2, 5. So when x is 2, my y value is 5. Okay? The inverse, the inverse point, let's just call it the inverse point, will be 5, 2. That's the inverse point. So that will be the point on the inverse. So, so this is a point on the function. Point on f of x. And this will be a point on f inverse of x. Okay, so remember, just interchange the coordinates. So I want you to think about this right here. So in, in number three. So number three, you're told g of seven is negative two. Okay? g of seven is negative two. And then the question is, what is find g inverse of negative two? Well, remember, a, a point on g of x would be seven, negative two. So 7, negative 2 is on g of x. The inverse, you just interchange the coordinates. So negative 2, 7 is on the inverse. And so, so uh, what is g inverse of negative 2? Well, g inverse of negative 2 is 7. Okay, so that's all that is. Now, it's, it's, it's a little confusing for some students, but think about... Think about this, this idea here, though, and that, and that sometimes helps. So, so in, in previous experiences, you know that if g of 7 is negative 2, then a point on that, on that graph will be 7, negative 2. The inverse is where you interchange the coordinates. So here's the inverse. So that means that g inverse of negative 2, then, is 7. And then that idea is going to help you possibly with number four. So let's talk about number four. So number four, let me go ahead and write it out. So this is number four. Number four, you have h of x is 3x minus 2. And then in letter A, in letter A, you want to find h of 6. Well, that's easy because you've done that before. To find h of 6, you go to function h. And where we see the variable x, you substitute 6, right? So, so I get 3 times 6 minus 2. So that's 18 minus 2, which is 16. So h of 6 is equal to 16, right? So I'm going to go here. So no issue there. Almost all of you, all of you rather, should, be, should have gotten uh, for a correct. But then the problem is this. And I want you to think about what we talked about in, in this idea here, in these ideas. 
in letter B, it says, find H inverse of 16. That's what it says. Well, remember, right here, right here, H of 6 is 16 means that, that the point 6, 16 is on the graph of H of X. Okay? So if 6, 16 is on the graph of H of X, and notice this is a, a one to one function, then 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 16 6 is on h inverse of x so so the inverse you just interchange the coordinates and so basically you're saying so remember this is this is a point of the inverse so so then you're saying h inverse of 16 right here so when x is 16 your y value is 6 so the answer here is 6 Right. And then I want you to uh, I, I need I need for you to to, to um, think of these also this way. So listen carefully. So if you, if you're told h of six is sixteen, then then h inverse of sixteen is six. So h inverse of sixteen is six. Okay. All right. Um, C, find the value of x if h of x is 7. And you've had that before, so, so notice, notice that this is your function h of x right here, up here, so that's h of x. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it here. So h of x is, is um, 3x minus 2. And so so it says this, if h of x is 7, so meaning this is 7, find x. So, so this is 7 here. So we get 7 equals 3x minus 2, and you just solve for x. So I'm going to add, nine, uh, add 2 to both sides, and so I get 9 equals 3x, and so therefore x is 3. So x is 3. So that's the answer for, for letter C, x is 3. Okay. But then it says this, find h of 3. All right, so B says find h of 3. So to find h of 3, I go to my function h, uh, uh, my function h, and wherever you see the variable x, I substitute 3. So I get 3 times 3 minus 2. That's 9 minus 2, which is 7, right? So, so h of 3 is 7. But I also want you to note this. So note, note that, that the point 3, 7 is on the graph of h of x. Well, if 3, 7 is on the graph of h of x, then 7, 3 is on the graph of the inverse. Because all you do is you interchange the coordinates. And this is going to help you with the next one because D, I mean, E says this. E says find h inverse of 7. All right, well, this is on the inverse, right? So, so from here, if you want to find h inverse of 7, it is what? 3. It is 3. So h inverse of 7 is 3. All right. So, so some students do find this a little challenging. I do need for you to go back over, that, over those lessons um, in Canvas to make sure you understand the ideas that were presented here. All right. Um, so it, it does help. It does help to to uh, when when you find h h of three to be seven to think of it this way as well. Well, that means that three seven is on the graph of h of x. So so if three seven is on the graph of h of x, then seven three is on the inverse. And so so what this means is that h inverse of seven is three, which is what you wanted to find. So that is going to be the, the uh, key. So that's the key to worksheet number two.